Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today our group will present the descriptions of the regional technique created and the processes. But first I want to introduce myself. I'm Rafi Islam, one of the members of this group. Now let's check the outlines of the presentations. These are the outlines. As we want to know the regional tectonic feature areas, this comprises whole lowland area bounded by the uh, Himalayan for the Shillong uh, Plateau, Assam Basin in the north, main frontal thrust in the north northwest, eastern inclined shelf in the western and southwestern part, Bengal fan in the south, and the Indo Burman ranges in the east. The map in figure one shows the whole thing as I say. Tectonically, the basin is bounded by the cratonic passive margin of the Indian plate to the west, active Indo Eurasian collisional margin to the north, and the active Indo Burman hyper oblique subduction margin to the east, respectively. Actually, this lowland basin, termed as the Bengal Basin, is a collisional foreland basin located at the juncture of the Eurasian, Indian, and Burmese states and, and built Himalayan origin in the north and Indo Burman ranges to the east. And also, it shows complex and asymmetrical basin geometry. As uh, we see the cross section of Bengal Basin in Figure Three, the sediment covers thinner and gently sloping to the northwestern side and become thicker to the south and southeastern basinward direction. Now, I would like to invite another member of our group, Hasan Habib, for the further description. So, thank you, Rafi Islam, for her speeches. So, my name is Mohammad Hasan Habib. In this part, I am going to be talking about the tectonic evolution of the Bengal Basin. To understand the tectonic evolution of the Bengal Basin, we'll go back to more than 200 million years back from now. There is only one supercontinent, Tangier. Later on, it was broken apart into two different parts, Laurasia to the north and Gondwana to the south. During Paleogic to Mesozoic time, Indian plate presumably occupied a central location in the Gondwana supercontinent. During Middle Jurassic, Gondwana supercontinent started ripped apart into West Gondwana and East Gondwana. West Gondwana was consist of South America and Africa, and East Gondwana was consist of India, Sicily, Madagascar, Australia, and Antarctica. Throughout the early Cretaceous to late Paleocene, Indian plate reached its maximum level of isolation from the parts it was joined together before the Gondwana breakup. During early Eocene, Indian plate collided with the Inter-Oceanic Arc, but not with the Eurasian plate. During Eocene Oligocene transition, the continental crust of the Indian plate impacted with the Tibet part of the Eurasian plate. As a result, northern part of the Indian plate subducted beneath the southern Tibet, and the continent-continent collision initiated. In early Miocene epoch, sedimentation took place into the Bengal Basin from the Indo Burman ranges to the subduct, uh, uh, ranges due to the subduction of the Indian plate beneath the Burmese plate. In late Pliocene, uh, there have been oblique subduction of the Indian plate beneath the Burmese plate in an arc trend setting, which developed a Christian prism and the Chidong Tripura fold belt. Here, two figures are given that demonstrate subduction of the Indian plate beneath the Eurasian plate and the Burma plate, respectively. There are three geotectonic provinces have been subdivided uh, Bengal Basin. Geotectonic province 1, the stable shelf to the northwest. Geotectonic province 2, the sandal for the basin. And the geotectonic province 3, the folded flying to the east, which is generally known as Chidong Tripura fold belt. In the map, we can see a diagonal line is initiated from the bottom left corner of the map and connected to the Davki fold region to the north, which has separated stable shelf and for the basin. So that's the end of my part. I would request to Rukayakta to continue the next part of the presentation. Thank you, Hassan Abri. Before I start, let me introduce myself shortly. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Ruka Yakta. You will get the additional information on the Bengal Basin from me. So let's start with the tectonic elements. Like Ben discussed about three provinces of Bengal Basin, there are some elements of those three provinces. In province one, there are two major elements. One is Poland Shelf to the west, and the other one is Yosin Hinge to the east. In addition, the major element, Poland Shelf, again divided into four sub elements. Following with province two, there are five elements, and lastly, province three consists of three elements. You can see the elements on this screen. Now, this bar plot you can see on the screen is illustrating the um, uh, in, uh, intensity earthquake magnitudes in Bengal Basin and surroundings over 100 years. Along the y axis is the place of occurrence and the time, and along the x axis is the magnitude of earthquake. Just for simple understanding, we can divide Bengal Basin on the, uh, into four parts on the basis of active tectonics. One is Chittagong Tripura Fold Belt to the east, or Shurma Basin adjacent region to the north, Poland Shelf to the west, and the, uh, lastly, center of Bengal Basin. So, how can we understand if the Bengal Basin is tectonically active or or not in present days, the answer is simple. It's by, uh, by deformation front and uh, emerging fold band. The deformation front uh, of Himalayan uh, to the north and Indo Burmas to the east, and of course, one of the important element is the active growth of emerging fold band between the thrust front CCF and the eastern deformation front. To the conclusion, the tectonic evolution process and the feature of Bengal Basin already described. The focus of our presentation is the complex architecture of the Bengal Basin, which is defined to the north and east by continent-continent pollution and the ocean continent subduction, respectively. The deformation front and emerging fold belt, these two geodynamic features actively shaping the present-day tectonic development of the Bengal Basin. The seismic activity of the Bengal Basin is controlled by the oblique Indian plate velocity vector motion and resulted development of the largest scale active 
first in and around the Bengal Basin. These are the differences of our presentation. So thank you for cooperating with us. This is the end of our presentation. Oh, 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 oh,